What's up guys, this is Egon Russia and I make videos about uh, daily life in St. Petersburg, Russia, traveling, architecture, culture, you name it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Here's a short video about uh, Russians, Russian symbols used in the operation in Ukraine, how they're visible in everyday life in St. Petersburg. And uh, as a person living in the West, Finland to be exact, uh, the media created an Im image where I thought the uh, that the whole country in Russia actually uses these logo symbols all around. They're like marks, uh, cars, people dressed up, etc. This is the image I got from the Western media. So I wanted to check it out. Is it so in St. Petersburg? And yes, I have this word selection due to the situation in Russia where any other word is actually uh, illegal. And I actually plan to visit uh, lots of times uh, the great city of St. Petersburg and, and Russia overall as a YouTuber in the future as well. In video, my intentions are purely uh, to show you the reality and uh, tell you a bit more about uh, the daily life experience in St. Petersburg. I'm not trying to promote anything except my channel, so please subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting. I make videos about Russia and St. Petersburg and uh, watch this video and watch a lot more videos as well. Let's go. So in the beginning, what is the Z? I googled a little bit more about it. The, especially the Z uh, letter has been used as a symbol to support the Russian military. The Russian Ministry of Defense, the MOD, uh, posted on 3rd of March the, the Z symbol uh, as abbreviation of the phrase for victory, za pobiedu. It's a mix of Russian and uh, and uh, Romanized letters. And the letter V symbol stands for uh, our strength is in the truth, sila v pravde. Also Romanized, partially. Or also the task will be completed. Zadacha budet vypolnina. Another interpretation for the Z uh, is the Russian word for West. Uh, to designate the Western Military District or Westbound Infantry. And the V symbol similarly standing for the uh, of the word uh, Vostok, East. The Z in colors of ribbon of St. George has been uh, something that is quite a lot visible, especially in the metro, metro areas. And uh, there's a certain hashtag used in that, well, propaganda. Uh, it's called, uh, it says Svaih ne brasaim under the Z and it means we don't abandon our own. My experience, well, my experience from the great city of St. Petersburg, the number one city in the world, is that the symbols uh, were very limited used in the daily life. Uh, mostly I saw them in the metro station area like uh, in the escalators on the well uh, usually as a banners or digital banners and uh, for example I also saw then in few occasions just a few occasions uh, some drawings or well scratchings of the letter Z or V and I think they're like uh, basically done by some teenagers who has who had nothing else to do that's my guess some uh, like uh, National Guard or that type of people had some, maybe, I think they had also some Z, some police had on their cars, some of them, on very rare occasion. Some people also put it on the uh, on their own cars. Uh, I have to say that uh, you had, you, we, I saw a lot of more and more of uh, St. George's ribbons on the uh, officials clothing uniforms because the Victory Day, which is a very important day in Russia, is coming up soon. And uh, so that's something that's a traditional. People are starting to wear those ribbons and it has nothing to do with this situation in the world right now, even though they have been some uh, like uh, mashups going on with the, with the Z and the ribbons. But uh, check it out. This is a short uh, montage I made from the from my experience. Uh, go and watch for yourself. Мусор.
Это наклейки, да? Да, машины есть. Ага.